Hey everyone, this is Dan, and today I'm going to show you my Patreon exclusive touch designer component called Switch Tools. It works together with any kind of switch operator and has a lot of features, such as named selects, so you can always know what you're going to select next. No more guessing. Built in looping feature, so you can always loop around with your select indices. It can also control the cooking of the operators and blend between components and cook them accordingly. Um, this works also in the reverse direction. Has a lot of features to um, deal with organization. So for example, if I have a jumbled uh, mass here, I can quickly realign them and even move them together, uh, align them to the bottom or the top. Using switch tools, we can also easily reorder the inputs. So if I wanted to change the order of these two operators, um, I can easily resolve this by node Y to order, which reconnects them in the correct order. I can also, by the way, randomize inputs and then reorder them just like this. Um, this can also happen automatically, by the way. So if I turn this on, then anytime I move around an operator, it will reorder the input, the actual inputs of the switch operator. I can also resolve the order of the inputs uh, instead of reconnecting the, the inputs and resolving this. Uh, kind of mess. Um, we can also swap the position of these operators. So um, I'm going to hit order to node Y and that will actually swap these that were kind of out of order. A lot of times you will still want to use the index, but then you're kind of lost still which one is which. To help that, I built in a redigitize inputs feature, which just renames the operators and gives them an index um, next to their names. So I can easily say, okay, I want to go to this slope sunny, then I just go to index seven, or again, just use the name to select drop down menu. There's a feature which needs a little bit more explanation, which is called first equals last. And this will make sure that the first input uh, is always the same as the last input, uh, which can be useful when you're looping around uh, your inputs. Um, if I didn't have this first equals last, when we would loop around, we would get a get a jump. Otherwise, this first equals last makes sure that we have a smooth loop around. Obviously, it means that this red color or the first input is going to be represented twice as long as the others. Um, but that's the cost of doing business. Forget to mention, you can obviously reverse the inputs also. Um, and you can also save any input configuration and then even after disconnecting all inputs, I can just recall the same configuration. Apart from it being an organizational tool and something that you can use in your everyday touch designer life, um, it's also useful for performances where you want to have a quick and dirty scene switcher. And something I haven't talked about is the unload GPU option. This will try to unload the GPU memory from the scenes that are not cooking. Um, this can actually increase uh, scene switching time, but can reduce GPU memory usage. It's also worth mentioning that Switch Tools works with the new um, experimental style of switch operators. I mean, currently it's only for the pops where we have actually sequence inputs, um, but I believe that it will come to other operator families as well but Switch Tools is already equipped to handle that change. Using it is super simple. You just drag and drop it onto your network and then drag and drop a switch operator onto the Switch Tools. And now it's being controlled by the Switch Tools. If you want to have a look inside, it's basically a bunch of Python code, um, several hundred lines. Um, it took a long time to get everything working and everything you know, consistent. Um, the kind of drawback of this is, yeah, it's it's a little bit heavy. Um, I will try to work on optimizing this in the future, but yeah, I hope that it's worth your CPU time. If you're looking for another scene switcher solution um, that is not just a switch top, um, I have a simple scene changer on my Patreon as well, which will also let you manage your live scenes. So that's the quick rundown. Um, it's really not rocket science what's happening here. I just try to think about all the quality of life changes that I would like to see um, when I'm using the switch operator. And of course, if you have any suggestions how we could make this tool even better, 
um, let me know. I'm open for any kind of suggestion. 